Hello, welcome back. Uh, moment of truth. So, uh, the pork's um, obviously coming out first. That's the last thing we pulled off the barbecue. That's the first thing we're going to cut. So, we're going to get. Good thing about towels when you actually store them is you can wipe your hands with them as well. So that is still steaming hot. I literally pulled that off what, about three hours ago, Dale? Mm -hmm. Three, three and a half hours. And it's still it's still hot. So I'm just uh, taking a photo of it really quickly for my Instagram picture. So check that out. Now get the claws. So you can get these claws from Bunnings. And um, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this actually out in the alcohol. This is the alcohol that was wrapped in. So I'm gonna get this alcohol off of it and like that. Put into the bread. So we've got Bay Marie trains here as well. What we'll do we'll pull it first. You can see how easy that comes when it's done right. The bone I was telling you about. Literally, comes out like that. So the bone just literally slides out, that meat just slid straight off. Right. So that's the, the bone that was in with it as well. That's when you know it's really done, when it just comes off like that. So all we're left now with is the actual meat itself, the actual pork. So I'm just going to pull this to pieces a bit with the claws. Now some people really like this pork, like my wife. <laughs> she did it last time actually, didn't you? Yeah, did you had time? a go at it last time. Yeah, you had a go at it last time. Super tender. And the thing is about keeping this meat hot, it's because it's a solid piece of meat, it stays hot for a long time, but as soon as you start doing what I'm doing now, this will cool down fast. So my suggestion is when you're doing this for yourself, don't start doing this bit, don't start doing this part of it until we're uh, until we're really ready to serve. Okay? Because you can see the steam just coming off of this. Surprise, Eva's barking. She doesn't mm. bark much. Um, so we just put it back in. Like this. And you could probably actually get the tongs and actually just put the tongs. Because again, don't try this with your fingers. Because it is still super hot. So the other thing you could do. So I'm going to get another pair of tongs just out of the Pull all this. See, it comes how easy it's coming apart. So we're going to start filling up this bay marine train with it. And there's plenty of pork here. So my plan is to probably save a bit for mum and dad. Because that is an absolute truckload here of pork. And we're sitting outside. And they're starting to rain, so it comes in cold. I've got one of these outdoor heaters. Because Michelle and I entertain outside. Probably more so than inside, don't we? Mm-hmm. Usually outside. Normally outside, yeah. But the sun came out, so mum wanted to sit outside and now it's raining, so it doesn't matter. It's just the way it is. <laughs> it's the way it is. So 
lucky we have undercover. Yeah. We'll be right. Absolutely. All right, so. We'll be right. That's fine. Yep. And just leave the rest for mum and dad tonight. We'll leave the rest. Yep. That's all good. We just don't tell those people that there's the rest. That's there. right. We that's just won't tell them that there's lots of them. leftovers there. Because that will disappear. Yes. That will disappear. So. So we'll put that in the. We'll put glad wrap on that and put it in the fridge right. for later. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Next is next is the brisket, I think. Brisket. So brisket out and your carving blocks. Yeah. Sorry, you probably seen the top of my head. Yeah, it's a bit bald, isn't he? That's all right. I make it up. I've got plenty of hair for you. All right. There <laughs> we go. The brisket. Trust me, it's hot. Very hot. This will be hot as well. But... Yeah. Did you get the electric knife, like I told you? <coughs> nah, we'll carve it up with the other one. Okay. We'll carve it up with the other one. I think it's because I'm videoing, I'll have a video of myself carving it up. Um, if I use the electric knife, it makes a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. So we might cheat. We might start carving this up. Won't video the entire thing. But let's just see. All right, best we can. Two of those juices. Those juices are still flowing off of it. Ugh. Michelle's thinking, no, no. More washing of towels. Oh, more. It's always more cleaning when we're washing dishes. More washing towels. This slow and slow barbecue isn't the cleanest job, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. And like I said before, where I had that slice there, I know exactly now where to slice that. So, the brisket. So you've got a nice smoke ring there around the brisket. So these Traeger pellet smokers still do an amazing job. Um, they still give you plenty of smoke. So you can see there with the smoke ring, you can see the way that's just crumbling. So that brisket, and it's just carving so easily as well. Yum. Yum. Yum, beautiful. And this was a three kilo brisket, I think it was. Three, four kilo? Mm-hmm. And um, so you get a lot of meat out of a brisket. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing too, like. We like to share. We like to share. Yes. And keep some for us. <laughs> keep some for us. <laughs> Doing a small brisket for mum and dad actually, that I spoke about earlier, but I just put that in the tray for now. That'll probably take about five hours to do. That was a lot smaller than, than this one here. So, so you can see here it's just all sort of coming as I thought it would. All right, so I'm going to finish carving this up now with the electric knife. Mm -hmm. And um, but yeah, thanks again for watching. It's been fun. Hope you uh, in, learned something. I hope you also enjoyed Michelle's first potato bake video. She did an amazing <laughs> job. So. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's still sitting there, still hot as ever. So yeah, oh. happy Mother's Day to everyone out there, and um, thanks so much for uh, your support and watching this video. Okay, take care. Ciao, ciao.